Good. You're supposed to. Speaking of feeling good. I feel good. Come with me. And you'll be. In a world of pure pure idiocy. Well, it's idiots. I was going to say imagination. Well, actually, that would apply. I mean... Because we're going to get into imagination. We are highly imaginative. We, but we're going to talk about some serious imagination tonight. Yeah. I mean, the kind of imagination that would lead one, one to wonder what was was involved? I, I don't oh. know. I don't know. I don't know. No, because that would know. usually bring on a good take. Not in this case, Tom. Not well, that's case. what I'm saying. Then This was not involved. Anyway, welcome maybe, back to maybe the Maybe some sack. of this was involved. Welcome to Wet My Whistle. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. Happy New Year again. It is January 3rd here in yes. the mid sack. The for redoubtable sure. one himself, Tom Izzo. 2024, first baby. First show of 2024. Well, first show of 2024. It. The highly questionable one. Welcome to IDD. For those of you who know, I don't disagree. Your New Year's resolution? <laughs> Find a super cool, awesome sports talk show. You found it. Now think about that. July, January 3rd, you already accomplished your goal. How many people could say that? Not me. Um, as I as I stand here and look at my shaven face, good <laughs> God. I mean, am and I... I'm forced I, to say to myself, good I mean, God, I'm a, I'm I'm, a handsome devil. I'm, no, no, it's not that. I mean, I am handsome, but dude, it looks like I'm smuggling acorns in my goddamn oh, cheeks. Lord. You know, usually my beard can hide a little bit of the chunk. Can't hide the chin. But man, these guinea cheeks are in full effect. I got I just gotta accept it and love it. You look like a hitman for the mob. <laughs> Great, that's a that's a good look. What's wrong with that? Well, if you gotta look like something, yeah, you might as yeah, if you have to look good. like something, that's not a bad option. You look like a fat hitman. Mm-hmm. Well, Clemenza was a fat hitman. Nobody know, nobody messed with him. Fat hitmen are dangerous. Are, are just as good as fat hitmen hit are dangerous hitmen. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't give a fuck. Not that I've ever known one. And by oh, the way, bang Brunson. Brunson, there you go. As we're talking to you, by the way, the Knicks are in the Donnie with Chicago, sixty-four fifteen on New York. Starting to try to pull away here. Eight minutes and it almost changed to go in the third. Um, the, uh, the 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 snot there, Reddit and um, the wannabe Jefferson. Uh, they're doing the game. You think uh, Richard Jefferson's the wannabe? Oh, he wanted to be Jordan for his whole life, and you could tell by the way he played, but he could never quite do it. Not as much as Kobe. No, Kobe just openly admitted it. <laughs> Jefferson at least had the decency to keep it to himself. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, but, but I never if really you, got if, that energy if, from him. Oh, I did. He tried to be like Michael Jordan from day one. He wasn't nearly as good as he. No, I didn't say he was as good. I said he tried to be him. I didn't say I he never, was. I never knew By the way, he about. did have a decent career. That's why I thought he was like He a, was good. He was good. He just wasn't him. Who, but he was tried he to, Nets most of his career? A uh, good portion of it. The Nets. Did he go to the finals with the Nets? He was on that team with Jason Kidd and okay, Kenny Martin and those boys. Yeah, he went yeah. to two finals. Dude, he used um, to be able to jump. He well, this is the thing. He had He was a jumper. He had I listen, people I don't understand why people don't it's not what you say, it's what you do. And when you and, and by the way, it's the style of play you try to he tried to play like Jordan. He really did. Yeah. He, if you know. watch his game one on one, he tried to emulate his move. Trust me, he just didn't openly admit it like Kobe did. But his, Kobe's his, like, why wouldn't I want to be like him? He <laughs> was a leaper though, right? Coming he, out? Where did yeah, he go? Arizona. Arizona. Yep. Really? Yep, Arizona. And he was a leaper. Hmm. He was. And Arizona's got a, has got a history of some of those. So, anyway, the point is, um, segment one. We were gonna, <laughs> that's uh, not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> segment one. Uh, first NFL. segment of NFL <laughs> recap. First segment of the new year. You know. We got to look at our picks and shit. We have to, we have to, you know, it's. We have to talk about something tonight because okay. we had a conversation not in the not too distant past about what constitutes a bum blasting. <laughs> okay, and we went back and forth with this pretty good. I thought we came to a common ground where we thought twenty-eight it, points. We thought it both made sense. Well, here's the problem: what happened on Sunday up north here in Baltimore, Maryland? Um, Yikes. And I say this because, no, it wasn't as bad as the 70-21 to 21 that Miami hung on Denver. But given the two teams involved and what was at stake, God damn. I mean, God. What was the score that? Well, you're talking about fi- Baltimore or Miami. 55 to, 56 to 19. Where the hell were you on Sunday? Were you here? Were you on Earth? <laughs> he doesn't know. Well, no, I'm trying to <laughs> think of what the – Sunday <laughs> was New Year's Eve. Yeah. I was cleaning. I was cleaning my closet. I was cleaning my pantry the entire day. At no point did you check a score? No, 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 no. Of course. I had it on. Okay. But I wasn't sitting there watching it. 56. So, dude, Lamar is my fucking quarterback. I remember now. He threw, four, four, what, five TDs? Five. This didn't strike a chord with you. It was a it was, Well, here was Especially my thing. coming off the beating I, I, they put I, on the Niners. I'm saying, but here's the thing. We, I think it's safe to say Denver, I mean, uh, Baltimore might be a head and shoulders above the rest of the league at this point, um, given what they've done. There's only one reason they're not, and that's because Cleveland 
is the only team that has beaten both them and San Francisco. So Cleveland is lurking. Cleveland clinched a playoff spot as well. Cleveland beat uh, Baltimore this year? Yep, they Was did. that with Deshaun? I don't know, but they beat them. Or was it with the backup? I don't know. They beat the Niners without him. <laughs> without oh, yeah, him. no, no. So I know, I'm saying have... that Cleveland is the one team that could say we beat both At this them. point, I don't know that they were playing better with Deshaun. I don't know. I think I think with Flacco right Flacco now. Flacco has done very well. He's a better passer than dude. Deshaun. He's a better pitcher. Which is kind of crazy. Deshaun, no, it's not. He's a better. He's a he's a pocket passer. I, but so is Deshaun Watson. No, he's, he's, not, he's not. He's a dual threat. Go look at the tapes in Houston. He's if a dual threat. If you look up his rushing yards, he's he's a thrower, dude. He's a good thrower. I guarantee he rushes for over 500 yards every year. No way. Yeah. Over 500? Uh, 500. All right, let's look it up. I think he does. You could be right. I'm saying. He, he's not Lamar. I don't, I don't think you're right. He's not at Lamar level, but he's somewhere between Lamar and and, and He Mahomes. definitely was nowhere near that this year. No, but he's. I mean, he hasn't played in two years. We talked about the whole hitting thing. He but I'm saying right now, he's not He's not a dual threat quarterback. The point is this. Watson. The point is, look at Joe Flacco has made a couple of Pro Bowls and won a Super Bowl as a starting quarterback. The I guy's mean, no he's fucking 40. He's, no, he's 37. He's no scrub. He sucked on the Jets. A lot of quarterbacks would suck behind that line. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that. A lot of quarterbacks would suck behind that line. If Aaron Rodgers had stayed healthy, well, probably he wouldn't have stayed healthy. Anyway, at some point he would have got hurt with that line, but he would have struggled too. So the thing okay. is this. Here come the stats. Okay, here come the stats. Go to his career stats. I got you. Okay. Um, where are we at? Rushing. Well, they have them together on the same yeah. row. Well, well, so like you got passing, rushing. So... Um, first year, I'm just going to go first year until yeah. now. Yeah. 269 yards, mm-hmm. 2018 up to 551, mm-hmm. 2019 413, 2020 444, 2022 175, and then this year 142. And those two with Cleveland were the first year he yeah. missed most of the season. This yeah. year he didn't finish the season. So play. I think he's probably a 350 to 400, which yeah. which is dual threat. He's I mean, dual threat. Dual he's, threat not, he's, well, he's, not, he's not Lamar dual threat. You I know what I'm saying? I, I like, just said he's not. I say somewhere between Lamar and Mahomes. That's where he's somewhere in between there. Because Mahomes runs less and less every year. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's somewhere in between them. He's not Lamar. Mahomes does more of the he's running not, behind look, the line. Josh Allen is more like Lamar than, than anybody else. Josh Allen runs a ton. Yeah. Okay, so he, he's more he like Lamar. Passes, but he, he he's got turns a, it he's, over too much. Yeah, but he's also got a cannon of an arm. Yeah. And he can make throws that nobody else can make when he's when he's on point. But anyway, the point is this. Although, look, I think Lamar can make any throw anybody else can make. Well, we're finding out. I mean, so he's, he, we'll, he throws we'll, sidearm darts we'll, like... Look at... I, no one has ever <clears> questioned Lamar Jackson's talent. Yeah. And even his arm strength. Accuracy was a question, but again, he only had a tight end for a very long time. The only Not thing that's ever been questioned about Lamar is, is health, right? His playoff record stinks. That's true. He's got three touchdown passes and five interceptions in the playoffs. Well, okay, we're going to get a chance yeah. to redeem well, that. Well, again, now the teams are different now. I would argue, because Mad Dog brought this up today, because Mad Dog being Mad Dog, ah, 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 ah. And look, I love Mad Dog's history, but the and Stephen A. called him on Stephen A.'s credit. The one thing Mad Dog fails to acknowledge is, well, that was a different team than the one he's on now. Yeah. So he got that team as far as he could, given what he was equipped with, and that included a league MVP. That should be a feather in his cap, because if Stephen A. were super smart, he also would have brought up Patrick Mahomes this year. And if you if you take his weapons away, he looks like Lamar did without no weapons. Yeah, yeah Lamar. Kind of the same thing. But Lamar they're going. Never- they never even let Lamar really run an offense the way he's doing it right now. No. It was it was no. all running, it felt yeah. like. Well, he didn't have a lot of weapons. If you know, you, if you know again, this, look at what's happening with Kansas City. If you know they have one weapon in the passing game, it's not that hard to take that weapon away. Because you don't worry about nobody else. So this is what Lamar was dealing with for years. Tom Brady is the one guy I ever saw make this work, and now Patrick Mahomes is getting a taste of it. Right. And again, not Mahomes' fault. It's the front office's fault. If you've got to let the cheetah go, you've got to get a guy. Again, he's not going to be the cheetah, but he's got to be able to offset his numbers. He's got to be a threat. Right. That's all. And they don't got a threat out there besides yeah. Travis Kelsey right now. So that's Honestly, the, yeah. they don't even need a threat. They need a com- they need competent receivers. Get open and catch the ball. Right. Like, I mean. Get open and catch the ball. <laughs> because. Well, how about this? Because these guys are getting open. Exactly. Catch the fucking ball. Exactly. <laughs> these guys are open. They are open. Mah- and Mahomes is hitting them. Yeah. They just can't fucking catch, which is crazy. Boys and girls, I've gotten more shit. I feel shit. bad for them. I've gotten more shit this year about fantasy football, and I have Patrick Mahomes. And if this was, if it was cut in half, I would have met in the playoffs. And, but I was like, you don't know what you're doing, really? Go look at the guy I drafted and look at what's happening to him. And he's, tell me how I should have seen that. Tell, tell me how I should have seen that coming. Well, he's not <laughs> killing you. Those receivers are killing you. Uh, those receivers are Because he's doing what he's supposed to do. And by the way, the interceptions are a minus three. And how many was this? Yeah, but again, those add up too. No, and, and then the, other, the worst part is, 
the interception turns into a pick six on some of them. And what does that count as? Because there's two That's of those that I recall. That's it, just point. minus two. It hurts. You don't get the points, too? No. Oh, thank God. No. There's at least two of those issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, no, like, only if you have no, it was, defense. It was bad enough the damage was done. The bottom line is this. With regards to the argument on ESPN today on first take was, who do you trust more right now as a quarterback in the playoffs than, than Lamar Jackson? Of course, fucking the first guy they go to is Mad Dog. Oh, we have the stats. Penny Rose's resume. He's still out there, ain't he? He's still out there. And then Stephen A. Smith went, look, if you've swept the, if you and this is where this is where this is why I get mad at, at Marcus Spears because you should he should have thrown this right back and I was yelling at the TV but no one could hear me you, know, you might have but nobody else could the, he no, goes oh yeah he them. goes oh yeah well let me tell you something Mr. Spears he goes what if you flip him how good are the Ravens with Patrick Mahomes and what I would have said was oh let's go back four years Stephen A let's flip him and Lamar and see what happens with Tyree Kill and <clears> freaking all those weapons what does Lamar do in that offense because if Marcus Smears was a smart he would have flipped, thrown that right back at Stephen A Smith and he would say you see Mr. Not So Bright a point can often be argued both ways yeah and I would say to you, Mr. Steve, and I love Stephen A., I love him, but the bottom line is this. You can't throw out the history and then turn around and outside of your mouth go, but this is a different team now. Well, then if that's true, then maybe that's something to do with the history. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, my maybe. Thing, my thing is this. Like, <laughs> if we're talking about in a vacuum, sure, I, I'd take Mahomes over Lamar just because Mahomes has the two championships. Mahomes has been there. But, but right now, Mahomes' team... His his ass. His pa- receivers Patrick are horrible. Mahomes. He cannot overcome them. Patrick so Mahomes. in this in this situation, I trust Lamar more because his team's better. I do. That's but, what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think it comes down to the quarterback. No. And again, nobody made this point. They're all going about the historical fact. That's why people need to start describing to you and I. Because the real truth here, America, is this. The reason those numbers are what they are is what's around the two quarterbacks exactly. in question. Exactly. And, and, I, and I'll do you one better. I'll double down. Patrick Mahomes in a recent Super Bowl lost two offensive linemen, had all his weapons, and couldn't even put one in the end zone. Yeah. And he just lost two offensive linemen. So how good well, is he? Well, he was getting, I mean, He, he has the, the cheetah. Box. Okay. You know what you do with that? He you was on his ass. You, you put him in the shotgun, two-step, not even two-step drop. Cheetah, quick slant, boom, and that stops all that shit. Because you know how that, Tom Brady did that with guys nowhere near as talented as the cheetah for 18 years. And he don't tell had me. A good O-line. And don't even he still had the interior guys. Brady always had a good O line, dude. It, so does so does Bob Patrick Mahomes. No, we're talking about when he lost two of his O linemen. I'm saying that you can't shit on him for that. Yes, I can't because he still had the weapons. And how do you how do you compensate for the loss of linemen? You put the guy yeah, in the shotgun and, and you but and you, you can't say Brady did and, it with and, less people. Brady did. always had a line, even, dude. The the year they won the Super Bowl, you know what they were in rushing the second Super Bowl? They were twenty seventh league in rushing. Don't tell me an he offensive always line. Had a line. How are you a good offensive line if you're twenty seventh in the league in rushing? That was the only time. No 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 no. Yeah, there was yeah, a number. Yeah. Of t- okay, Mr. <laughs> you what, what, I guess you lost to be wrong. Pass Charlie. blocking. Pass blocking, not rushing. The point is, it's a lot easier to pass rush. A, it's a lot easier to rush a team if you know they can't run the football. But what were they in pass blocking? I don't know. Right. I know this. So you can't were, tell uh, me they stunk no, in rushing, no. and that meant Brady could Here's pass. what I do know. Guess who has the fastest release in the NFL? Tom Brady. Dude. Under I, three I, seconds. Dude, so Tom Brady's by the way, better than Patrick Mahomes. I know what I'm saying, but not the point arguing. Is, I'm saying, but Patrick Mahomes can make this adjustment. So can Kansas City. He has, he has Tyree Kill. Who Apparently can, he could. Who can, who can cover Tyree Kill in the slot? Is there anyone in this league that can cover him? Anywhere. Forget maybe, the slot. Maybe me. Well, especially in that black outfit, right? Um, where you look like the hitman, you with might scare, him. might scare him <laughs> off the. With a gun. With a gun. The thing is, when you have the talent to make that adjustment, you make that adjustment. They never did for whatever reason, because that's how you beat that. And yeah. the cheetah, no one's covering the cheetah in the slot. And Andy Reid loves to move people around like a chessboard. He could have done that with him too, but none of that happened for whatever reason. Dude, so that, long, that defense was really good too. Those linebackers, man. I, I'm just saying, how you beat uh, uh, when you when you don't have the this. offensive line, the boss to come out quick. How do you beat that? You need short, quick guys in space. They had a few of them. The cheetah was one of them. Yeah. Didn't take advantage of it. Well, right now no, they anyway, don't have that. They have that's none why of it. I trust Lamar. I'm saying, and I trust Lamar more. He's in too, a better situation. He's in a better situation. Like four years ago, why did you trust Mahomes? He was in a better situation. And I keep saying this: they're only as good as what you put around them. Yeah. And, it, right. and it's getting proven tenfold every every weekend. Again. Every weekend, yeah. there's an example of this. It's like it's not even funny anymore. It's well, like although the <laughs> only the only time where it's not being where you're being proven wrong is with the Giants. Because over and over again, their backup quarterbacks are outperforming what Daniel Jones did this year. Daniel Jones didn't play but seven games. And he stunk. His line was also awful. 
But my point is that it's the same line now. What Maybe Gi- worse. What are the Giants doing now? They got what four wins, five wins. Their quarterbacks are playing better than Daniel Jones. So that's the only place where it's being. They're throwing deep balls. Well, <clears throat> I would argue this. Slayton caught two freaking plus fifty yard plus touchdowns past two weeks. How and many who, times that happened with Daniel Jones? Who was he, who was the defense he was playing? Because <clears throat> it doesn't that, matter. It does matter. I think the Giants were playing against better defenses earlier in the year. No, it doesn't matter. Really? Yes. So the Eagles' defense is good. Even, Who's calling the plays? Even last, Who's calling the plays? Even last year, Daniel plays. Jones wasn't doing that. He didn't have Hyatt last year. Slayton caught him twice. Well, I'm just saying. I don't think he's that, had Slayton I think, for I think years. He this never... is the whole Billy Zappi Mac Jones argument. Mac Jones was playing elite defenses the first ten games, and Billy Zappi's got the leftovers. No, 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 no. And then he plays not, one real I'm defense. I'm not arguing that gets killed. for <laughs> one of the Giants' backups to be the quarterback. That's not what I'm arguing. I'm saying that we've seen different quarterbacks play behind the same line, mm-hmm. and they're showing more competence than Daniel Jones in some in some. And I think areas. part has to do with who they're playing against. I don't think so. I do. Agree to disagree. I agree to disagree because the numbers bear it out on both ends. I might add. Anyway, I the bottom line is this: Baltimore is so. Baltimore so is true. the best team. It is true because I'll tell you right now: Philadelphia's defense sucks, and you know it. The, the, the general. What was the team that played before them? They played Washington there somewhere too, right? They sucked too. They played they, the Rams yesterday, er, Sunday. Yeah, that's a decent defense. What? They've got one guy. You know his name, <laughs> Aaron Donald. Yeah, he's decent. <laughs> I'll give you him. What about the other other ten? <clears throat> but um, well, I'm looking that up. Um, the bottom line is this: Baltimore right now is a cut above. I think everybody. The one entity is Cleveland. Um, who, who won Joey Flacco? Joey Flacco, um, and it, but you know what? And the Patriots announcer saying this again. Why didn't we call him? Because the Pats line sucks, and he got killed behind mm-hmm. it. Just like with the Jets, he got killed. Cleveland had. If you have a legit, yeah, you made line, a good point about that. Last if week. you have a legit offensive line, give Joe Flacco a call and a couple of weapons. Uh, Amari Cooper's a Hall of Famer in the making. This kid, that tight end, that what's his name again? Njoku. This dude is a bad motherfucker. He, really <laughs> he, is. he, he said he, he said it loud. He's a bad motherfucker. He's, big he's as fuck. he is a matchup nightmare because yeah, there's no linebacker in this league that can cover him, and there's no safety that can. There's no linebacker fast enough. There's no safety. He looks enough. like a power forward. He looks like, like from the nineties. He looks like Gronk. He is big as shit. He looks like Gronk. I, yeah. I, I, I say he looks more and more like Gronk, at yeah. least as a receiver. Now, I, until I see him d- come down and, and knock Ray Lewis on his ass, by the way, there's a video of Gronk doing that's wonderful <laughs> on, a, on a trap down block. I mean, until I see him block like that, I'm not going to, but as a pass catcher, he resembles him. Mm. He does. Um, so to me, it's yeah, Baltimore. They're legit. They are legit. And I, and I got to they're, they're on a collision course, these two. Um, actually, they're playing this weekend, I believe, but nothing's. It's, no, Who's playing they're this playing weekend? Cincinnati. We're going to go over the. But I got to go over the tonight. Yeah. Somebody, either, no, Baltimore is either playing Cleveland or Cincinnati. I forget who it is. Um, Baltimore's got nothing to play for. No, but Lamar's not going to play. Not at all. They're not going to play. They're going to sit well, no, they've locked everything up. It's the smart move. I know, but now he's not going to play for two weeks. That's the point. <laughs> This is not baseball. You, this is football where they need more rest because of the beating they take. I know, but I, it's the smart move. I, I know, I know it's a smart move. I'm because if you saying, play him and he gets hurt, then you look like a then you look like a fucking, fucking idiot. idiot. I know, but but that two weeks, you better be doing something in practice to keep these guys. Well, are they he'll practice together. They don't want him taking a hit, and that is smart. Andre Drummond three on one gets a fucking rebound. Come on, D- can we? Send a note to Masquer Garden, box out Andre fucking Drummond with, with his with his career stat rebounding every per game attached. Anobi! I'm telling you. Uh, Ananobi. Sorry. Ananobi. That's a pretty sick name. OG it, Ananobi. It's a bad it sounds like, I mean, it's OG Ananobi. Yeah. I mean, it is original so gangster. Close. It is so close. Original gangster Ananobi. It is so close <laughs> to Obi Wan Kenobi. That like is, you know, I didn't OG think that. Ananobi. Ooh. See, that's, that's sick. Why I mean, we have these Jedi? Because then he drops a Jedi nugget. And it's wonderful. I mean, it's wonderful. No, he's right. I never thought about that. Yeah. I never thought about really? that. Really? No. That's the first. As soon he's as not. He's, like, now, if you play for me, I might be deeper in thought, and I might think of that. OG no. Ananobi, Obi Wan Kenobi. It's like it rolls off. It the rolls tongue. off the, the tongue. same exact way. I'm just saying. All right, back to the NFL. <laughs> you know, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, by the way, the Knicks are up eight. Okay, oh, um, rebound by the oh, hold on the ball, squeeze the onion. Um, anyway, well, they got blocked. So look, freaking turnaround. The the Philadelphia Eagles. Yikes! Yikes! Talk about another team making me look like Nostradamus. Um, Fuck you! I picked it. Matt Patricia. 
Yes. But I, I picked them I know, but I said back in March when our friend was here, over there at that table, that if this motherfucker is oh, anywhere... in his balls. Any, yeah, but I wasn't kidding. <laughs> you were. <laughs> That's said, true. I really I said, didn't think... I, I said, if this dude is anywhere near your sideline, you are in but, trouble. But here's, here's my thing. I agreed with that, but I never thought in a million years they would bring him onto the field. I have watched this man up close destroy multiple Patriot seasons. Wow. With Tom Brady in his prime. Dude, but here's okay. the thing. This dude has destroyed. But did you watch their <laughs> offense? They were ahead 23. I know. What happened? But at the end of that game, what man, happened? they mismanaged that. I don't understand it. Like they, they this is it. the thing. The reason I picked them is because I thought their offense would make a play. First of all, they were AJ Brown was pissed. He should have been pissed. He had a recumbent. They threw like a couple of fucking yeah, like, he had every right behind to be the line of scrimmage throws to like he's right gain right. What was game right? You got A.J. Brown. Look. Ten targets, like we said. The overthinking with Ten these targets. offensive coordinators and head coaches baffles. It's insane. If you've got an ace, okay, you throw it. <laughs> you don't fucking keep it in the hand and do nothing with it and save it for a rainy day. No, you fucking play it. You don't okay. throw it to your backup running back. No. In the I, flat, I'm not yeah, short I'm of the right, marker. Right. You are, you know, you <laughs> argue about this every fucking. I know. I'm just running this dick, and you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's Philly doing this uh, with run, in the flat when you've got run. one of the best top three receivers in he's the league. He's a top three, and then you know, who's the other guy? A Heisman when he's a Avante, fucking. He's a he, pro bowler. Yeah, Dallas Goddard he, at your tight end. Either one of these. Send them. Either one of these three is a better option. Ten the yards downfield. One of them will not. One of them will win their battle. I would bet one of them will win their battle. This is the point. Yeah. But this is why we get so mad. This is why I, when I say to him, now you're going to say this, more games are lost than won, Exhibit they A. Lost that game. Exhibit A. What were they up? Were they up 13? It was 23 to 6 at one point. But here's here's the other part of that. If Kyler, Murray, to six. If Kyler Murray doesn't throw a 99-yard pick six, they were going into score there. I know. Like, even though they Phillies had, D actually made a play. Exactly. But I mean, right. but the but thing it was, is. It wasn't really that. The, the receiver... You know, was I don't know if he was supposed to run an out, to, yeah. like to the end zone, yeah. But he hit an inside post. Is that what it's called? It, yeah. Like he hit the post, went inside. Mm -hmm. Kyler Murray threw the ball outside so to nobody. So, uh, and, and a cute and a corner so, just ran on the million dollar question, which somebody I'm sure in our who made the mistake? Who made the mistake? Right. Was it the wrong route? Yeah. The wrong so route? it wasn't really like a great. Yeah. The, the return yeah. was great. Yeah. And also, no effort in my opinion. But you, a guy goes 99 yards on you. That's hard to do. Come on. That's hard. Turn to around do. and chase him. That's hard to do. But I mean, DK Metcalf put you all on notice. No, and so did and ben it was Watson. Arizona, by so the way. Ben Watson. Yeah, Ben Watson. He did too, the same fucking thing. Against Denver, against yeah. Denver. Yes. Look at this that one. That was one, one of the, great, the, the Jedi. Like the greatest the, plays I've ever seen. Dropping the Jedi and a dropping tight the end. Je yeah, Ben Watson was a burner. I mean, yeah. I respected that. Couldn't catch. Couldn't catch a cold, but he was a burner. I always, because of that play, I thought he was a great tight end. He well, I wanted to just because of that play. It was him and Benjamin and uh, uh, Daniel Graham with a tight end duo back in the day mm -hmm. there in 03 04. Uh, but um, then the third one was Christian Fourier. So they had three decent tight ends. Um, See, well, I always thought Watson was great because of that fuck. Couldn't that catch. hustle. I know, but that. He couldn't, man, like, that was, he couldn't catch for the first two or three years. Then he, But because of plays like that, he hung around. And then eventually he started to catch. He actually caught the game when he touched down pass in Brady's first year back after the injury against Buffalo on a Sunday night where hmm. they came back and Brady hit him on a, on a skinny post uh, with 20 seconds to go. What's a skinny? Beat means close to the line? Yeah, skinny post and you come in to, towards the, po the pylon or mm -hmm. the, the, the goal post. Right. Um, so the thing is, mm -hmm. Brady hits him in the seam. With the game on the line, and everybody's like, the thing was, it wasn't that because Brady makes those. Was it was that Ben. It was up. Oh, he caught it perfectly, but it was it was right high high point where only he could catch it. It goes out of bounds. So he's tall. I think I remember. And that. Watson was he in the back of the end. The, zone? It was right in the back under the. It was a skinny mm -hmm. ball. And Brady throws a dime, and everybody's like, but the thing was, the reason everyone was surprised it was because Ben Watson caught it. Because normally he drops shit like that, yeah. and that's what they, he caught that one. So yeah, he was okay. I mean, better than what they got now. I'll tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> like, got a couple good pass catchers. The thing they're is, just not used. No, they don't. They don't use them. And this this speaks to why Bill Belichick needs to go. We'll we'll say that for the end of the segment. Let's continue going around the All horn. Right, here. Yeah, um, Detroit, Dallas. You what? Do you, now you tell me. You saw the play. We've heard all. The, what do you tell me? What you think of that? <laughs> so we already talked about it. Um, on the air? No. No. no, no, no. <laughs> we talked about it New Year's Eve. Yeah. That, was it that night? It yeah, because that, that was a Saturday it, it was night the, game. It was a Saturday night game. Um, it was the night after our last So game. I've gone back and forth mm -hmm. um, because when it first happened, and then, this is why I hate the referee expert. <laughs> the referee expert is always an asshole. He is. 
That, that, and, that's and, true. And it always seems like that's they true. take the side of the refs, right? So he biased me a little bit because he said immediately, even if he did report, he wasn't covered by the by the receiver. You know what I'm talking about? He started talking about how because of the way he was positioned on the line, it would have been a penalty anyway for um, illegal formation or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Well, they but didn't call that either. One of those stupid ass penalties. Because they didn't call illegal formation. Why did they just call that? I understand. <laughs> but to this guy's point, he said. And either way you want to put it, it was a penalty because either he didn't report, or even if he did, he wasn't lined up right. Anyway, beyond that, then you start to hear. That's an awful fucking. Then you cover. then you start to see what happened. Uh huh. You see the video of Jared Goff saying, "Go report." He goes over and talks to the guy. He tells the no. Jared Goff tells the yeah, line. The, the, the line goes over. The ref looks the at him. The line goes over there. The ref looks at the guy coming off yeah. off the side, points at him, yeah. but then looks at the guy yeah. who said report and goes like that. Yeah. Acknowledges him, yeah. goes in, obviously says the wrong number because then you can also hear the audio of them announcing number seventy as eligible. They announced yeah. number seventy. Idiots. And sixty eight's the one to report. Sixty eight was the one that reported. Yeah, that's awful. Um, that how stupid are But these at guys? the same time, like I mean, how stupid are these guys? Yeah, that that sucks. <laughs> that's I mean it's beyond stupid. Now it didn't necessarily cost them the game because Dallas would have had twenty five seconds and a timeout, I think. Should just kick for the, a field at goal. that point you just kicked the extra point. Yes. That Look. was Dan. That was Dan Campbell yeah. being stubborn. Yeah, and when you're seven yards out as opposed to two, it's a d- whole different ball game. Kick the extra point. Yeah, just kick it. Play for overtime. And you might have won. You might have won. You could have won because they couldn't stop your running game. So, so I, so I don't look at it as this like major controversy that you know what I'm well, saying. It was a blown call. I know it was a blown call, but they happen all the fucking time. Yeah, but the difference is usually you, you have a chance to make up for it. In this case, that they didn't. No, not no, you don't. The Giants yeah. have lost. On the last play of the game where a pass interference is not called, blatant pass interference against the Bills, that happened to them. It happens every fucking week the refs fuck a game up. Like, bat shit fuck the game up. Yeah, but here's the problem, Tom. That changed the landscape of an entire conference. Because now Dallas is going to – don't say that. But Dallas Dallas is going to have – is going to probably get the two seed. They went from the five to the two because Philly lost. (laughs) Philly fucked up. Think about that. This is why everybody's making a stink about this because it's it literally well, it goes Detroit from would because Detroit would have been the two seed. Mm-hmm. So yes, the, 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 honestly, this is why it's not overblown because you're talking about you could change the course of a season. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Well, we'll see what happens when they're down in Dallas again, and you could tell me if if it did would have made a difference. They were in Pontiac, Michigan, because I think it would probably about two touchdowns. I, if they play again, Detroit's going to beat them wherever it is. That's if they play again. Yeah, I don't think that matters. I don't know if that matchup's going to happen. It could hurt Detroit having to Dallas, be on the road. D- D- Detroit is going to ha- listen. Like, before they get to Dallas. Look, if you're the five seed, you have a much tougher road oh, okay. than if you're the two seed, okay? So the odds of Detroit getting, because Detroit's going to be on the road. After the first yeah, who, game. Who are they going to get? I don't know, but there are teams that can Tampa? beat them. Not Tampa. I, the Rams, Seattle, either one of those teams could beat them. The Rams are good. Anybody sleeping on the Rams right now? Don't. Rams aren't good. They're, uh, they're good to beat Detroit. Giants almost beat them. Giants almost beat a lot of teams this year. Exactly. Because their defense is good. The de- Giants' problem is the same problem as the Pats. Their offense is inept. When you have a bad offense and you're in an offensive league, you fucking lose. Okay? The Pats have an elite defense. They're 4 and fucking 12. The Giants scored 25 points on the Rams. The Patriots average 14, and their defense is better than the Giants. And if you look, don't believe me, look at the so stats. What? I'm not arguing about the I'm Patriots. Saying the de- I'm saying the Rams aren't that good because the Giants almost beat them. I'm saying, the Giants no, missed the field no. goal to beat them. The Ram, the Giants' defense held that offense to 26 points. That's what I'm saying. That's good. They okay, average more but, than that. But then the, the Giants' uh-huh. offense scored 25 on that defense. I'm, I'm, listen, and Detroit, scored 28. Detroit's defense isn't anything to freaking write home about. They're not great. They're no better than the Rams. They're in a better. I'm not saying they are, but you're acting like the Rams are so good. I'm not saying they're not. I'm saying the Rams can beat Detroit. I don't think they can. Yes, they can. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't care what you think. (laughs) No, I don't care what you think. There you go. So we agree to disagree. We agree. We agree to disagree. We agree. I don't disagree. (laughs) No, you do disagree. I don't disagree with that. <laughs> All right, next one of the year. I had to get it out of the wet. Fucking tough. I had to get it out of the wet. Okay. The Knicks are uh, slowly trying to hand this game back to the fucking. What's the score? Chicago bullshit. What's the score? Where is it? They're up. Ooh. All right, we have a Donnie here in the fourth quarter. Oh, Julius uh, Randle with time running down. He hit three. Quarter three. Three. three? 
Oh, there you go. Randall stepping up. Still plenty of time. 845. Four, 93, uh, 89, 18 Chicago. 15. This should be better. Dude, players. he's having a night. Yeah. Not for he's, nothing. He's having Lewis a night. Randall has played great. He's show. having a night. <laughs> okay. Um, and I really hope he can continue. Can you this. stop the. No, Andre Is Drummond. Is it Andre Drummond? No, it's Shaquille O'Neal. Does anybody. God damn it. Wait, it's Will Chamberlain. Exactly. No, it's Kurt Jabbar. No, <laughs> it's Moses Malone. <laughs> it's Akeem Olajuwon. Fucking Andre Drummond is 13 and 16 They are right making now. him look like he's not done over the hill when he's been. Look at this fat. He's like, he's like loafing back to the bench. He, he looks every because he's on an NBA Every court. step. He is not fat. Every step, it looks like it hurts. <laughs> he's lighting them up. <laughs> He knows how to rebound the ball. That's He's a is. career 14 or 13 rebound a game guy. That's a Was that not in the scouting report? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, back to the NFL. I suppose we have to close this segment. Who, with who, what other games were there? Uh, there was <coughs> the Christmas. Well, no, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh beat Seattle. That was interesting. 30-23, hell of a game. Mason right? Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. At it again. What do you say? Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. What is it, 17 seasons in a row without a losing season? Better coach than Bill Belichick, I'll tell you that right now. I mean, he's a better coach than almost every coach. He won a, he won a, he won a Super Bowl without Tom Brady. <laughs> Has a winning record without Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Never had Tom Brady. <laughs> Yet somehow, he's still winning. Yeah. By the way, his quarterback stinks and he's winning <laughs> okay so you know why you know why though the quarterback don't have to be that good if you surround them with weapons <laughs> which mike tomlin was smart enough to do <laughs> okay so in any event yeah what did, the, what did the pats do last weekend they lost 27 to 21 at buffalo that's in. right bailey zappy <laughs> You're oh, right. Zappy. You're right, you zero head zappy zipper idiots. Oh, He's definitely what was that, three picks in the first half? But my favorite one was the one he ran back. So he did throw a touchdown, but he just threw it to Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, you know, it's funny. When Mac Jones played that same Buffalo defense, he was twenty five for twenty nine, two seventy five and <laughs> two touch oh and he won the game. I, yeah, it's strange how that works. Sounds out. like Zappy's better. Strange, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Again, ignore the numbers. Hey. The, here's the thing. Well, y'all are down right now. The glimmer of hope is Bailey Zappi. You got to admit. No, the glimmer of hope is Bill Belichick getting fired. <laughs> there you go. Which, by the way, leads us into this bullshit. Uh, look, Kimberly Martin, do the world a favor and just, just I don't know if you where you came from, Buffalo, Cleveland, just go back there and shut up. Honestly, because today, today on Get Up with her. Please go after her. Because she's an idiot. <laughs> And no, and it, 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 you, you can't criticize a woman on the air. We can't do that, America. Then you're picking, I on, didn't say that. You're picking on a woman. You always yell at her. Let me her. ask you a question. How does a woman who supposedly covers the NFL on the air predict, and let me say this slowly, okay? She predicted on that show in week three that Zach Wilson was going to throw four fucking touchdowns against the New England Patriots offense that had Matt Judon and Gonzalez on it. That's Kimberly Martin. And don't tell me that's you trying to be Max Kellerman. Don't, don't tell me that's a bold take. That's, that's a Max that's Kellerman. Like Max that's Kellerman. a Max Kellerman take. It's Max. not a bold take. A bold take would be to say the Indianapolis Colts are going to win the AFC South this year. Right. That would have been a bold take. This is utter idiocy. <laughs> and nobody called on it. Nobody came in on Monday morning. Hey, Cam, have a seat right here, sweetheart. No. We're going to have no one call her out on it. But I will. Well, they probably, okay. They, they shouldn't and, say sweet. And, and, and after that, they whatever. Have to say sweet. Kim, Kim, whatever you want to call it. Kim, Kim. 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 Remember what you said yesterday? Kimmy. Have a seat. Anybody who we got Zach talk. Wilson's going to throw four touchdowns. Against the Patriots? Is either, he's either joking or they're no, high on heavy that was Here's my bowling. And then she also predicted that the entire AFC Central was going to make the playoffs. And I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> and by the way, they're not going to all make the playoffs. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, the thing is this. She is talking about how the Patriots need to keep who, him. Who, who, who. Bang, bang, bang. Great, great play. Who threw the pass? Go. Who threw the pass? Uh, it was DiVincenzo to Hart. Nice pass. Hart threw the pass. Nice, that was a nice play. Nice yeah, fast break. Beautiful. See how they filled the lanes? 45 degree yes. angle for the dunk? We're not dribbling. No, no, one no dribble. dribbling. Boom, boom, boom. One, one dribble, two. Yep, two passes, dunk. And then give him Don't give that rebound. up. Rebound. There you go. Who's the big guy? Ananobi. Oh, that's him. He's a yeah. big dude. He is pretty big. He's a big dude, man. OG. Oh, no. Dag. Oh. oh nice good rebound. Hustle. Good hustle by that guy. That was hard go to hoops. You better make that. See, you don't need if, he, that if he shot shot. thinks he has a dunk, he had the whole lane. Do not shoot. Calm you, down, better, you better make that shot. See, dumb. 
Again, this is like watching the Celtics. Anobi! Yeah, see, he knows what to do with it. He goes to the Go basket. Go to the fucking hoop. He goes to the hoop. But not for this shit. Man, I, that was I, a possession. The Knicks got four shots. And they were all three. Missed three. Yeah, why? Well, missed three they had. They could have had the dunk three shots earlier that Anobi just got. Finally, Anobi yeah. grabbed the rebound yeah. and just And said, fuck it. this. <laughs> Go to the basket and dunks it. But see... They have guys that make hustle plays to keep yeah. balls alive. That like center that. made and that I, play. Yeah, center yeah. made the play. Yeah. Then yeah. DiVincenzo knocked the ball out. Like, yeah. And then Ananobi was there to get the loose ball. Hey, back to Kimberly Martin and her bullshit. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, my apologies. Look, and, and, and Stephen A. Smith later on get up, or on first take, was, was saying that people are missing the story here, that it's all about how they wouldn't how he ran Brady out the door and you pushed the golden boy out the door. I'm well, like, what did Kimberly Martin say? We didn't get to that. She, well, she was saying how they need to keep him because the man can still coach. I'm like, it's not about his coaching. Yeah. And if he were willing to just coach. You've established that. Yeah. He won't. You're asking a 72-year-old man. Mm-hmm. Okay? Not a, not a 22-year-old man. Not a, th- a 72-year-old man to change his thinking. And his thinking has always been, it's me and my eight right. rings, two as an assistant right. coach for the Bulls. And he doesn't have, you know, and this is where, you know, he he doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that Tom Brady was a system. Okay? He's got an ego. He's got an ego. And that, he, that he needs to address. He needs to address it. He's yeah. not going to, if he wasn't going to do it before, why right. would he do it yeah, now? No way. If Tom Brady couldn't get him to check his ego, you, who, you think exactly. Robert Kraft is going to get him to do it? Exactly. No, it's not going to happen because I said this on the last show. If he were willing to come back and just coach, let them shop for the groceries, you <laughs> let the office, you coach the defense and set, do all that. That's fine. He can do all that. Okay? He's not going to do that. Mm-hmm. There's no. He is who he is. You're asking this guy to swallow the biggest fucking ego this side of Michael Jordan. It's not going to. I'm sorry, Jerry Jones, because that ego is even bigger than Michael Jordan. It's The two biggest egos I've ever seen are Jerry Jones and Bill Belichick. Did you okay? see. Did you see the Parcells uh, a close third? Did you see the ceremony for Jimmy Johnson? I did. What did you think about uh, Jerry Jones in that? About time. I didn't like it. About time. I thought he should have went deeper. I mean deeper. Oh, well, what he said in what he said because it was very like. Well, he would not. It was kind of like a dad who was trying to say I love you to his kid, but refused to say I love you. You know, and what he, he, kept, sh- he just kept going. I appreciate you. Yeah. You inspired me. Mm-hmm. Instead of going, hey, man, if I could do it all over again. This would have happened 20 years ex- ago. This would have happened 20 years or ago. Or you never I would've, never would have let I you go. I never would have let you go. And, I, and, and I, by I, the way, if he said that, that would have been a 10-minute standing ovation. I I thank you. I would have given him thank a standing you. ovation. And he, he should have said, said that. that. He won't. He, but it, it, was like, it was like he knew he needed to say that, but he, he, but he wouldn't go past, you inspired me, and you inspired mm-hmm. Because, he, I mean... He, he did he say, tried to say it. He tried to say it without saying it. He's trying but to say it without being vulnerable you, and admitting yeah, you, he fucked you up. You can't say that because that's the thing. If he said it, he admits he's wrong. Exactly. These guys will never admit they're right. wrong. This is why Bill Belichick. That's the ego. This is why Bill Belichick needs to go. He still can't admit he's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like he can't. Like, he would need to come out and say, "I made a lot of mistakes over the past few years." And by the way, if Letting he just Tom Brady, I should never let him walk. Let leave, leave the. And the thing is, I don't get. Well, again, this is ego. I don't understand. I had a big ego. No, I don't understand this ego because if I had a guy like know. if I had a guy like that for twenty years, right? No, that makes no sense. No, I, I've never had. I've never been around someone like that in my life. Okay, <laughs> that's why. I understand between him that. and Kraft. I just don't get how he left. Well, because Kraft believed I, I the know, whole. I know. I just can't Bill, understand that. Well, Bill knows more football than I do, that's and Kraft's not wrong with that statement. Right, but Tom Brady but, knows more but, than Bill. But but the thing is, there's <laughs> there's an exception to every rule. And you witnessed. And you were both looking at it for twenty years. And 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 and, and it wasn't like you were four and twelve. You were twelve and four. <laughs> <laughs> you two play. You just go fucking find them. Free agency and draft one. That's all you would have had to do, and you'd have been in the Super Bowl the next fucking year. Because they would have. Right, it's fucking ridiculous. It's, that's why people are mad. Is because he ran him out the door. Yes, that's true. But it's it's it goes deeper than that. If you're going to tell, you, they, he duped an entire region into thinking it was me, not Tom. Tom was the, the system. Mm-hmm. Tom fought was because, Tom because of the system, not the other way around. It yeah. took a Super Bowl. That's how stubborn they are. Yeah. It took a Super Bowl, which Tom's so great he did the first fucking year, right. to show everybody, nah, it wasn't in the system. It ain't this guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the thing is, Stephen A. Smith tells this story, but he doesn't, he doesn't finish it. He doesn't sit there and go, look. If you're going to tell these people that Tom Brady, you have to have a, bla- a plan B. Mm-hmm. And there was no plan B. 
and and, and, and and by the way, if he didn't, if let me put this way, say he didn't hire Matt Patricia, he still thinks his way is yeah. what was winning. Still, if if he didn't hire, this is how big this man's ego is. If he didn't hire Matt Patricia and Joe Judge and develop <laughs> Matt Jones the right way, they wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Right. Okay. And by the way, here's the one I really want to tell you because this is why this is why he needs to go, and it's real simple. Okay, because counting Sunday, the Patriots have now lost eight games. By seven points or less. Mm. Eight. Eight. So let me let me show you something, America. This is called doing your job. And I don't get paid for this shit. Okay? Which makes the ones that do their job even worse. Because no one on EEI, that's Boston, no one on the sports hub, no one has mentioned what I'm about to say to you. This is why Bill Belichick needs to go. It's this simple. The Patriots lost eight games by one score or less. That's eight touchdowns or less. Okay? Mm. Listen to me on this. Wide receivers the Patriots should have had on their roster. Number one, DeAndre Hopkins. <laughs> Why didn't we sign him? Durability issues. Really? Hmm. 16 games played. How many games have been played, Tom? 16, 17. So in other words, he hasn't missed a game. Is that what we're <laughs> right. saying? Okay. Oh, well, no, 17 games, right? So, well, this week will be 17. So maybe he's missed one. He hasn't missed one. They have one game left. This weekend is the last weekend. That's right. He hasn't missed a game. That's right. He hasn't missed a game, America. That was Bill. Well, and, durability issues. And, Injury problem. And when you think about his productivity... With his quarterback situation this year. Oh, oh we're going to get to that. He's amazing. Ryan Tannehill and, Le- and Levy, Levis, nice. Levi's. Yeah, these two beast guys. One mm-hmm. Pro Bowl between them, and that was like seven years ago, Tannehill. Okay, one year he made it. Yeah. Okay. Tannehill's not that anymore. No, he's not. Not even close. Okay, so anyway, 16 games, 68 catches, 1,011 yards, six. There are the Pats needed eight touchdowns. Six right here on this guy alone. Six touchdowns, 63 yards a game. That's number one. Number two, this guy actually was here, Jacoby Myers. Remember him, America? Remember him, Patriot Nation? The guy that, oh, we can, no, 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 no. And, and by the way, he was Max Binky. Everyone in the locker room said that's Mac Jones' favorite really? target. Yeah, that's what makes it even worse. That tells you he didn't like Mac mm. Jones because he could have kept him for the same money he signed and injured Juju Smith Houston for. But that's, mm. but we'll get to that later. Uh, Jacoby Myers, 15 games played, 68 catches, 746 yards, seven touchdowns. Mm. 40, almost 50 yards a game. That, now, that is opposite Devontae. That's the only... Well, if he was here, it would have been opposite DeAndre Hopkins. That's my point. Well, if they were both, yeah. That's my point. Yeah. That Hey, look, he's catching on, America. That's my point. They both should have been here. Now, who they went with instead. This is my favorite part. Are you ready for this? This here is the arrogance and the idiocy of one Bill Belichick. Devontae Parker. Why did Miami let him go? Durability, durability issues. 12 games played. So he's missed four already. Okay. 32 catches. 300. Who's that? I'm Devontae sorry. Parker. He had a thousand yards in Miami. They let him go because of durability issues. Okay. He's missed Where four. Is he? He's in the Patriots. He's in the Pets number one. Devontae Parker. He's their number one. He's the number this one this year. year. Okay. He was okay. the number one going okay. to season. I'm sorry. Okay. 12 games played, so he's missed four. Mm-hmm. Okay. 32 catches. Okay. 388 yards. Goose egg. No touchdowns. Number two receiver, who should have been Jacob Myers. Juju Smith Schuster, who were, we replaced him for the same money. 11 games. Damn, there's that durability word again. <laughs> it keeps coming up, but on the wrong side of this argument. It's Bill's argument. <laughs> okay. Um, 11 games played, 29 catches, 260 yards, one touchdown. Now work with me here. Okay. If this arrogant motherfucker just does what he should have done, they're 12 and 4. They're 12 and 4. Because you look at all those teams on that list, only one of those games I don't see as winnable, and that's at Miami. But even that game was. It was 24 17, and the Pats' yeah. defense didn't get off the field. It was eight minutes to go on the, the well, offense. And Mac, Mac, Mac played pretty Mac well on the game. Mac threw a pick to, on the sideline, yep, remember? Yep. And he threw a touchdown. He was one touchdown pass, one interception. Yeah, I mean, which that, could, that wasn't a lopsided game. No, it wasn't. And the, the thing is, the, the Mac, they, they scored the touchdown. I mean, with eight, almost eight minutes to go, the Pats' offense never right, got the ball back. Oh, the defense oh. couldn't, get on, couldn't get one stop. Okay, so the point is this. Which is tough against that offense. No, but that's the one game. It was in Miami, that heat, yeah. that whole heat factor yeah. thing where the one side has got the sun beating on it all day long. Oh, it, wasn't the, it wasn't a night game? I thought it was a night no, game. No, that was the one at Foxborough. They, they lost that one 24-17. That was that, the, that's the game that, where, where Mac threw the pick on the sideline. Yeah, that right. was it. Yeah, well, he yeah. threw a pick in the Miami game, too. But he also, <laughs> threw a, he also threw a touchdown pass. Actually, I think he threw two. But <laughs> the point is he threw a pick in that game, too. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, had he done those two things? Yeah. Well, see, that's called eleven and five. Anyway, they're in the playoffs. That's that's kind of what sucks because 
That's the he's, margin he, for error in this he's league. He's made so many gaffes. How and do you? And, and they've still lost eight games by just seven points. It's how crazy. do you? DeAndre Hopkins is a first ballot Hall of Famer. If you don't have a number one receiver and he's only 30, 31 years old and 15 million is all he is asking yeah. for, that's not a lot that's of money. Nothing. It's nothing. Why don't you do it? Why Especially don't you just with all do the it? Shit you talked about how much you respect them. Yeah. Good guy, you the stories with him. Yeah. The, 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 the oh, Bill Belichick loves DeAndre. Loves DeAndre. All this bullshit. Not and Mike Vrabel sound. gets him. <laughs> okay. And give me a, I mean, give me a break. Very, very you don't want to go and and, the, and Jacoby Myers, who he actually, he, they actually developed him into a good receiver. Then you don't pay him? What, what happened there? Because <clears throat> didn't, didn't he sign for the same amount that Juju signed for? He signed before Juju. And the Pats got Juju for the same amount of money. <laughs> I know. It's, it's beyond stupid. Now, I, although, beyond although stupid. let's, but let's be honest here. Going into this season, I didn't think Jacoby Myers was that much better than Juju. We thought it was close. Right? Like, we it thought was that comparable. was... Yeah. So, that one no. is probably not as bad as DeAndre. I'll tell you why it's worse. Because he was Mac Jones' binky. And okay, I've never yeah, that's, seen... That's I've so never good. seen... I've only, the only way a, the starting quarterback loses his binky is if he's asking for an outrageous amount of money. Is $11 million for an outrageous amount of money? Not at all. No. Is that one or two years? Three years. For 11? Yeah. Yeah. Well, each year, 11. Oh, each year eleven. Yeah, he was only twenty six years old. Yeah, but I'm sure. I if, mean, and it, I'm sure if he doesn't play well, yeah, it's not all guaranteed. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing is, they could have done this. This was so easy to do, yeah. and this tells me he never <laughs> believed in Mac Jones because why wouldn't you do that when everyone on the, on the planet knew that was one of your weaknesses? It doesn't make yeah. any sense. They, well, it does if we're talking about that one word. That word again, ego. Nigga, yeah, no doubt. And this is why he needs to go. If he can be this petty about all these things and benching, what you keep coming back to, he benches Malcolm Butler for the Super Bowl for an argument with all people, Matt Patricia. That's awful. That's beyond awful. Okay, if that wasn't the this guy's ego, I don't know what is. Tom Brady, letting Tom Brady walk, all you do is ask him to stay. You couldn't do that for a guy who hoped you win six Super Bowls? Yeah. And he, he didn't want money. He go to get that big team. So you have to realize he's he, the reason. He didn't even want money. No. Yeah, if, if, if Bill Belichick said he, he wants to help. be paid, he wanted help. That's all he wanted was help. It's embarrassing. That's, and, and instead of he asked you for help, you yell at him for 12, 14 minutes, whatever Steve, and again, Steve Smith brought the story up again today. He goes, you guys know what happened. You know he pushed him out. And Kimberly Martin was just doing this. Like, well, if you know that, Kimberly Martin, why, are you saying why, should, why, should, why should this asshole be back? Because you keep telling me the man can coach. Well, I've got 84 wins and 101 losses to tell you that he can't. Yeah. And that's a 10-year sample size. And by the way, Tom and I, I think I'll talk about this off the air. This will be the last point I'll make. You know what the average coaching tenure is in the NFL? 3.5. I was going to say four years. 3.5 years. So, in other words, we've had – this is – he's Bill Belichick. He got a – there's a 10-year sample size. You know why? Because he's Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. Okay? The writing is on the fucking wall. Stop ignoring the obvious. Why are we overthinking this? This man should be fired. If 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 Kraft were smart, fuck, fuck class, fuck this. He screwed you. He screwed you by that win in Denver. Fire him before kickoff on Sunday because he's gonna win that fucking game. <laughs> if you don't, he's gonna win that fucking game, dude. Okay. If, if, here's here's another aspect of that game. If if the Jets allow that to happen, they have no heart. What are the you, how the Jets gonna beat them? The Jets need to beat them. I don't care how. They, to let, they were talking about this. For once, the, you and I are in total agreement. <laughs> okay. The Jets so need they, to beat they, they really and, do. And, and by the way, because here's, here's why I would actually love this. There would be no better way to send Bill Belichick exactly. out than a lost exact team. And, they, but, and that team stinks but that's on the thing. They were, they were talking about it on the fan today. And he's like. I, I can't remember who the hell it was. It was Evan love, or somebody was talking about like. I would love to see for this. Bill Belichick to get one last win against the Jets. That would be awful. It would be terrible. For, and now they can never beat him awful. again. I know. You know, like uh, yeah. unless of course some dumb franchise signs. Uh, uh, it's awful. Last. It's but awful. I would love to see the Jets. The Jets in. need this game. I would love to see the Jets. Here's the thing: Bailey Zappi is starting. That Jets defense can fuck him up if if they feel like playing. <laughs> if they feel like playing, because Cleveland. Slap the piss out of them the other Cleveland's night. Cleveland's a lot better than the Patriots. I know, mm -hmm. I know. And it was in Cleveland. I know. It was in Cleveland. But Cleveland they, was playing for a playoff they spot. They bitch slapped them. They did. Bad. Cleveland's bitch slapped them. Like, to the point where, shit. you know, the Jets could be coming in here going, eh, this doesn't mean shit. Cleveland has bitch slapped a few teams this year, if we're being honest. Okay? They're for real. But, and to but, me, they're the biggest threat to the Ravens in the AFC. But I will say, really I, I think that's true. Yeah. Um, but I will say this about the Jets. As much as I'm saying, you know, they might think it doesn't mean anything. The Jets have faced some pretty 
shitty circumstances this year. And they played hard. The end of the year is coming, and of course, they're not in it anymore. They've dealt with a terrible quarterback situation for two years now. And both seasons, they had a chance to, to get to the playoffs. Where a lot of teams, it no. wouldn't have, it, there wouldn't have even been a sniff. True, you know. So, so I, I give the Jets a shot this weekend, and they and have a shot because Bailey Zappi's the quarterback. Yeah, I, I, I'll pick him this. By the way, one of Mac Jones' best games was against the Jets in New York. He completed seventy percent of his passes, threw a touchdown, yeah. no interceptions, no sacks. Yeah, he took care of the ball against an elite defense. By the way, how did our friend Mister uh, what's his name uh, Jalen Hurts do against that Jet defense in New York? He threw three picks against them. So don't tell me Mac Jones can't play. You're full of shit. <laughs> okay, I got news for you. I got news. I will always come back to it because I'm gonna I'm gonna beat these Bailey Zipperhead <laughs> fucking these scrotum scrubbers into the fucking ground with the, with common sense and facts. Okay, because I'm sick and tired of hearing Bailey Zappi and oh, and here was the best one this week. Some idiot had the audacity to post. I'll leave you with this before we break for segment two. Some idiot said, you know, if Bailey Zappi had some receivers on the line, he'd be a lot better. <laughs> 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 you can't make this up. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make this shit up. And that idiot knows who he is. And I swear to God, I should look up his name and embarrass the fuck oh, out of him. On one of these it was on one pages. of the Patriots fan sites. If, if Bailey just had a, just get Bailey a a number one receiver and a couple of linemen, he'd be much better. I'm just like, oh my God. Let's see, here's the, the thing. Talk so about fucking more. But, <laughs> but here's the thing on those sites. You never know if Ooh. that guy was posting that to get people up in arms. I did I look at I just laughed at it because whether he was joking, if he was joking, it was funny. <laughs> yeah. was, no, but that's the thing. If he if he was that smart, I don't think he was. So, I mean, but if he was sometimes the shit I see on Giants forums, I'm just that, like listen. You, you're I, kidding. I hope he's that you're clever. You're trolling. I hope he's that clever because, honestly, if he's not, he's, he's, the, he's the dumbest motherfucker on the side of Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to break. Segment two, we're going to recap the college football playoff and NBA heads. We will update you on this Knicks game. Uh, we're going to talk about the Knicks trade, too. Yeah, we're talking about the trade. By the way, they're pulling away. Okay? Breathe. Like no. Breathe. I've been watching. And how about the defense? They're under 100. We'll talk about that. That trade is well. I want his take on this because I think I think there's reason for. I don't care. He's got to start somewhere. Um, and better, didn't they beat, hey, they the, beat Minnesota? Didn't they, did they beat Minnesota the other night? Yeah. So I think they already started. That was. I think good. they already started, dude. That was great. That game yeah. was yeah. nationally televised too. Yeah. And we'll hilarious. talk about that. And the Celtics. The Celtics uh, fighting the new rising uh, team in the West, Oklahoma City Thunder. We, we mentioned them in the last show. We we'll talk about that when we get back. The Redondo One Holly question. We'll see you segment two. I'm going to find better you. It's a wet my whistle. We Wednesday. See you on the other side, soldier. <laughs> soldier? Who do you turn into when you sign off? I don't know. I can't sign off. Maybe I can talk into somebody else. <laughs>